This is my marine navigation setup with the orange solar power charger. Get the mirrors on, go ahead and direct as much sunlight as possible in an overcast day. And then we have the iPad, the life proof waterproof case. This one's really cool, it's got a nude case. So this is actually the screen. Um, it creates a gasket around the perimeter of the iPad. And uh, the cool thing about this, I don't know if you can see it, um, is I'm using iNavX is a um, chart plotter. And it has um, all these charts from around the world. Um, and eventually what I'm working towards is integrating all my instruments into a wireless setup. Um, you can go ahead and get a um, wireless router that will take all of your NEMA um, compatible instruments and turn them into a wireless signal. So when you hit instruments here, um, it does show you boat speed, um, it shows you heading, things like that, but um, you can uh, digitize your oil pressure, your uh, water exhaust temperature, um, all this type of uh, fuel, um, uh, burn rate, all these things can be inputted into a wireless uh, signal that will be picked up by this iPad and uh, localized all in one application. Um, the convenient part about this too is that in rough weather um, I could take it down below. Uh, the iPad battery life is tremendous. I haven't even ran it out yet. Um, so it'll go all night. This orange solar pack actually has a uh, battery in it too. So if there is no sunlight you can still get a second charge out of it. Um, but I think that for the most part this is completely off the grid navigation. Should everything else fail on the boat um, this is its own um, package that is uh, isolated from all the other systems which is a nice level of redundancy in addition to my uh, standard uh, GPS and uh, radar. Uh, that's another thing I should mention is that this is an older radar but if you had a new radar with the NEMA cord uh, you can go ahead and hook that into the wireless router and get that uh, sent out to your iPad so you can have a radar overlay on your chart plotter. Um, really happy with the setup. I think that uh, it works well um, for navigating um, out at sea. Uh, the glare sometimes uh, is all right. Um, I haven't had too many issues, but um, I could always step down below in the cabin. It's a nice thing about the portability. Uh, coming up next, I've been looking at some different RAM mounts, and uh, I'll give you guys a review when I can go ahead and get it mounted up there on my binnacle, so I'll have access uh, while I am underway. Um, one important uh, note to mention about the iPad is it is a uh, Wi-Fi and uh, uh, cellular iPad. Now, I don't have any cellular service, don't really have the need for it. Um, however, uh, the fact that it is a cellular iPad, the chip inside includes a built-in GPS. So that was important to me because even though I'm not paying for cellular service, I can still get GPS signals uh, received on here. Um, now, if you do not have a cellular iPad, it's just a Wi-Fi, uh, no worries. There is a connector that goes on to the bottom of the iPad that acts as a GPS receiver. So I've looked into that, but uh, I like this uh, compact setup uh, for my needs. Um, catch you guys later.